Welcome to the vlog. This one starts where yesterday's vlog ended with a lot of gear unboxing. Most of the stuff that I got is camera related. And one of them is so amazing, it's like hard to describe. It's really by far the most amazing piece of gear I ever got, it's so much fun. And all of this is really just for me to improve these videos, which is really important to me. And I'm planning on using all of this to shoot my very, very first music video in a very special way. You'll know how at the end of this video, but now um, there is actually more. A lot more. In here, we got a light. Very, very powerful light. Controller, cable. This one right here, just at the front, is one LED chip. This outputs a ton, a ton, a ton of light. Light is like room acoustic for, for sound and studio. Light is the same for video. If you have the right light, it just looks a lot better. It's really big. Really, really big. Without it, it looks a lot more flat and boring. And with the light, you get that cinematic kind of a look. It's huge if you like A and B compare it. Same is going on in your studio. But again, that's a whole nother topic today. It's all about this piece of gear. This is, is actually a lens, a lens for this camera. It's really long, it's really weird, it's really expensive. That right there is the opening, the lens itself, barrel type lens. It's waterproof up until here, so you can put it in water and you can get really, really close to things. And seeing footage of this online, I just had to get it because I had immediately an idea how to actually make music videos that look cool, that look expensive, but are quite easy to make for me and just me, because that's the main problem. If you want to make a music video, you need people in front of the camera acting, you need locations to film in. And with this one right here, I don't need all of that. So let's attach it really quick and um, maybe get really close, really, really close. So yeah, welcome, that's my eye, very close. It's a little bit creepy, but also very fascinating. And this lens right here lets you do this. It can focus right here in front of it. And you can also make it like pass through things. It always looks amazing, fascinating. And if you combine it with a green screen and like, I'll show you. But first, I actually promised Vanessa to take care of all of the boring life things we have to take care of and then do the fun stuff. Can you explain me why we're driving all the way to the Netherlands to Ikea? Yeah, cause you pick night stands that they only have in the Netherlands. So you're saying it's my own fault? Yes, it is. Actually <sighs> it is, because you declined so many yeah, of my ideas. I'm very picky, but yeah, IKEA it is in the Netherlands, so I think no mask. We don't yeah. have to wear any mask, so that's that's kind of a plus, kind of not. We made it. You don't have to wear a mask, but we'll do it anyways, just to be extra safe. Sometimes the law isn't isn't enough, so you have to come up with your own. And there is a line, a huge line. Survived IKEA, survived shopping. And I don't know if it's just me, but every time I go shopping, it's really annoying that I have to put all of the things in the cart, on the belt, from the belt in the cart again, then in the car, it's like too much back and forth. This should be a lot easier. By the way, I don't know why in Germany you can't get lip nice tea sparkling. So every time I'm in the Netherlands, I need your help. <laughs> Well, you can buy it in Germany, but it's not that common, right? Yeah, that's I deserve this for other shopping shit. <laughs> we did also shopping that I didn't film, like half an hour extended shopping. Yeah, and yeah. I have to pay a price for it. Yeah, the Netherlands at the moment doesn't feel really like Corona. There is no Corona. Yeah, like, I mean, yes, it doesn't feel like a Saturday. It feels more like a Monday morning, like less people. 
but that's it. No distance, no masks, nothing. In Germany, you feel it a lot more. Well, at IKEA, we had to wait in line, but yeah. there was no was empty. point. Yeah, and inside, everyone was close again. Well, I tried to keep distance. But... Yeah, but it's not under your control fully. Anyways, back home. Oh, yeah, the, the new tech. Yeah, my favorite toy at the moment. Vanessa wants to do something, I'm like, no, 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 I have this new super lens, I have to film stuff. It's impressive. I want to be your favorite. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope I didn't promise too much when I said this right here. It's the most amazing piece of tech I ever got. It's so much fun. And I, I really love music making. It's my biggest, biggest passion. The only thing I don't like about it, it's very virtual. You're sitting in front of a computer or looking at a screen. Back in the 80s, it didn't used to be like this. You were actually playing instruments. But nowadays, to be honest, it's just looking at the screen nothing to really touch and turn and do and make. And this right here, like like filmmaking in general, is like a little more like hands-on. And I like that. Especially this lens right here, it gives you a perspective that just looks insane. All the shots you've seen are still like first attempts. There is a lot more you can actually do with it. So in the next coming weeks, I will practice and practice and practice whenever I have the time and then hopefully be good enough to actually make an entire music video. Probably the first one just like abstract stuff just to complement the music and then maybe later on something more complex but stay tuned for that coming up very soon. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you have any idea what I should do with this and where to aim it to or through let me know. Please no dirty stuff. I, I know but no. <laughs> no. You're the melody in my head That I cannot forget You're the only